Aloha. Uh, so this video, I wanted to uh, keep going off of the uh, intention talk and uh, get into like some of the questions that I raised in that discussion talking about like, all right, well, what are the, in so what are the intentions of heliocentrism, which is easy to see? What are the intentions of white supremacy? For some people, it's easy to see. Um, what are the intentions of creating an education system that's designed to make people ignorant, keep people ignorant and, and keep them fighting themselves? What's the, what's the intention behind developing an entire culture, a community, a nation that's based on uh, sickness and disease and cancer and, and war and destruction, the military industrial complex, the prison industrial complex. What are the intentions there? When you go into the, the subcategories of that, what are the, you, you can understand that there is a military industrial complex, there is a prison industrial complex, to zoom in further, there's a prison industrial complex. What are the intentions with having the majority of the people who are locked up right now be so-called black and brown people? Could that possibly be related to all the rules and policies and legislature that was generated back in the day, uh, not that long ago, um, that was designed to enslave the majority of the black and brown people's uh, of this nation, like could could they be connected in in any kind of way? Okay, so what are the intentions there? If it's still if it's still happening today, what are the intentions with having to you know live in a world where that exists that way? What are the intentions with that coming from this system? See, when when you really break that stuff down, then you can understand who's on your team. What what's you know what we're really talking about when we're really talking about unity and coming together and people are all talking about like oh yeah you're you're divisive if you're talking about race no I'm I'm not divisive I'm getting more um, uh, details about this situation that people are just kind of coloring very loosely as if it's nothing to be uh, even paid attention to no this was studied this was known. Uh, this has a meaning and a purpose. It's very beautiful. Uh, there's nothing wrong with uh, people, um, you know, holding on to their the values of their ancestors. There's nothing wrong with uh, people um, expressing the uh, the historical wisdom of their people of their answers there's absolutely nothing wrong and if you see something wrong with that if you think that's divisive if you think that's um you know working against whatever then that's your own problem and maybe and it's not a maybe a lot of people and this is the intention behind this in being pushed in the mainstream media a lot of people who are having difficulty with people you know, having like, for example, blacks is the, the phrase black power. Um, it's a threat. It's an inherent threat in in not only to in the government, but in people's like subconscious in their psyche. Because like I said in previous videos, the government or this land represents a piece of the individual inside. So who are the biggest people or who are the, 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 the like the biggest presence of people who actually stood up against this system that wasn't like seen as like a a, a fully developed like it eventually got manipulated or co-opted but uh, what was the biggest group that had an impact that was gonna you know really do something what, what was the most attacked group what was the Black Panthers in the, in the civil rights time frame so uh, and, and this this doesn't include, but at the same time frame, it does include as far as action that the CIA or the FBI took against uh, movements at that time frame. So this does include, or I'm including it as the uh, the American Indian movement, uh, like Leonard Peltier, who was uh, framed for you know all the shit that happened. Um, yeah, so 
all these movements that were hit by COINTELPRO, that were hit by the government, um, those were the ones that were representing or um, hitting the nail on the head, uh, for lack of a better terminology. I mean, that, that, that pretty much sums it up. If you're hitting the nail on the head, they're going to... Um, they're going to address you in some kind of way in in, in, in some time. So uh, the Black Panthers were hit immediately. And one of their b- biggest phrases were was Black Power. And a lot of that came from um, having been disempowered and having been told you were a slave for so long. And then in that time frame, them realizing their, their true uh, power. And, you know, anybody else in the rest of the world can have and express and share their own power. But, um, and and it's not a threat. But if the ex-slaves start to express their own power, then that becomes a problem. Um, And that's why it's a problem these days. And that's why this is just to set the tone of the intention like I was saying before so you can understand the intentions of power control and authority now a little more now like what what in in reference to like the the flat earth conversation like I was talking about before so um anything that was discussed really at the conference it's it, it, the majority of that was just to talk about the the um what's the term uh the term for like they weren't there to talk about the macro scale of flat earth the conference was to converse about um the the uh not the lie but just the 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 form like the physical structure uh, yeah, some conversations and discussions ov- obviously are going to leak over into whatever, but the overall tone is flat versus globe. Still, that's what the conversation is. It's for, for media attention to say, well, this is the truth and that's a lie and these are the people who stand together against that lie. Here we are. Um but they're they're not really going into the depths of the lie. They're not going into the depths of, um, yeah, what this really means on a power, authority, and control scale, an intention scale. They weren't talking about intention. The conference is not talking about intent. The conference is talking about um, pieces, uh, things. It's not talking about uh, the, the the substance behind the the action it's not talking about that it's talking about the action the action which is flat as opposed to globe but the intent the substance of why there was a globe created it it, it's it's just like oh yeah all right that's that's secondary but if you're really going to do something you have to make that primary that has to be the first thing you can't make the main power center of your movement secondary because you're setting yourself up for uh a disempowered position in this chess game up against these 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 so-called powers that be that they call they call them so-called powers that be now so the only way you're going to have a chance in the world of a so-called powers that be is to inhabit the space that is at least equivalent to what they have done. And you can go so far beyond that if you would only research the depths of what's been going on. Like how these lies, not only like what um, what the lies are, because that's what a lot of the truth community gets involved in. See, the truth community, and this is another side that... I've emphasized, but I don't think I've worded it quite like this. The truth community um, is very one-sided. The truth community is, just like I was saying in reference to fat, fat, flat versus globe, the truth community is in comparison to. The truth community is in comparison to lies. So it's very one-sided. It's only focused on the lies. But there's also a truth in the truth that the truth community that 
doesn't really go into. It's vesting in a lot of its focus on the lies, but it's not really going into the truth of who and what we are. You know, how and what and why uh, this stuff is going on. That See, that a lot of that truth community uh, doesn't, it gets lost. It gets lost um, in the world of the old ways of uh, communication and information exchange, the old mainstream media. Like that conference. That conference is the way so-called, I hate to say it, but so-called white people would do shit. That's how they do shit. And I'm not, you know, I don't feel bad for saying that shit. That is not, and then they say, they use terms like international to to the same way they, they use the terms like fucking new world in America. And I'm not being like, whatever like people i know i can hear people now getting all butthurt now fuck that it's, it's it's i'm not saying that they're consciously ignorant of their actions because a lot of these people i really do think that they mean well but their good intentions don't mean shit if they're just going to add up to the to the intentions of the the system itself what, what what's the difference there's no difference there they have the same effect on what's going on. So that's me taking my own perspective to the extreme. But at the same time, I'm not taking it to the extreme. Like there, we, we have to really because this is like in one video that I shared in the compilation where a guy, a, a comedian was saying like um, so-called white people invented credit. They invented like discovering things. He was saying like, oh, yeah, um, the land, like nobody owns this land. What do you mean nobody owns this land? And then the natives were saying, "Oh yeah, well the land belongs to the people. Like it's it's all of our. It's the land. It doesn't really belong to any of us. It's just we are here in a, like a relationship with nature." And then so-called white people or colonizers came and said, "Oh well, that's nice. Now we can own this land." Uh, we we own this. In fact, you're on our land. Get off our land. So like that's how slick that whole thing is, because they don't have the same relationship. And you can take this all the way into the relationship with nature itself. It could be a subconscious thing with like how the sun burns the skin of pale skinned people, but it doesn't do that for darker skinned people. So subconsciously, like Dr. Francis Cress Welsing was talking about, subconsciously they could be uh, rebelling against nature itself. So when they rebel against nature, we, we, we say like it's only against like us, but no, like we're a representation of nature. So it could be a rebellion or how I see it, like subconsciously, uh, just like how she was saying the, the great equalizer in reference to the genetic annihilation, the whole genetic thing in reference to darker skinned people having babies with uh, a paler skinned person, you're going to have a brown or a black baby. So the genetic... Um, inferiority complex expressing itself not only genetically but in like na nature it's like the the destruct this is something i wanted to talk about in another video but if i phrased it the, the way i phrase it now people understand where i'm coming from but this is why like people we wouldn't have this kind of relationship with nature we didn't have this kind of relationship with nature oh this is the thing. we didn't have this kind of relationship with nature um <clears throat> so like all of the 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 um it's just ridiculous there's so many things that are different angles that I want to take this on it's 13 minutes now so many different uh, angles that I want to take this on right now but I'm glad I got that point out there because uh that's a big one that's a that's a really big one that really we really don't go into um but I, I I'll go into that a little later I want to jump back into the intentions because all this is all this goes into the intentions too, like, um, excuse me, the intentions of the education system, the intentions of white supremacy, what are those intentions? What, what are the intentions of telling somebody that they're less than human and that the other people are actually human? What are the intentions of a blonde haired, blue eyed, um, son of god in dark skin people's homes across the earth what are the intentions there 
See, we, we can see it and you get to get angry, but you'll get informed once you start asking what the intentions are. That's what happens when you start you start getting out of the introduction in chapter one of what's going on out of the emotional body and you start getting into the the uh the intention the challenge space kind of like a dream you you start getting into the intentions of well what are my intentions you you you're only going to be able to understand understand and understand as much information as your intentions will allow you if you're not comfortable enough to go into information because your intentions are not strong enough to take you into that information, you're not you're, you're either going to demonize that information, you're going to do something in your world to make that information go away. Uh, because you yourself, the processing unit, needs time to upgrade its software and that whole thing uh, just to be able to uh, understand, understand, and overstand, compute, whatever it is, what you, uh, that, that situation, that experience. So you, through your relationship, your non-physical relationship with this experience, you keep, just like we keep people away from us in relationships. If you met somebody you met now, 10 years ago, you probably wouldn't want to see them. They wouldn't even be the same person. You wouldn't be the same person, like, same good thing goes for anything like that. Like, or you're a completely different um, being. Like, so much of you is completely different now. So, you know what I mean. But that exists like in so many different layers of reality. And um, this loops back to, in in reference to intention, that loops back to the manipulation of your. Uh, consciousness through time and vice versa the v- manipulation of your um, time v- through your consciousness or did I say that you know what I mean though um, but that th- they work hand in hand so your you're, the manipulation of your time is going to manipulate the movement or the expansion of your consciousness which is going to manipulate how long you can remain enslaved so if they keep making uh, slaves reproduce quickly it, it, there's an algorithm here. How quickly we can we get these slaves to reproduce as they are still psychologically, spiritually, and physically enslaved? How quickly can we get them to reproduce so that the next generation of slaves will not have enough time to break out of that curse? How quickly can we have them living, reproducing, and dying? Sick, keep them sick with the food, the water. What's the intention with fluoride in the water? What's the intention with genetically modified foods? So we get pissed off about genetically modified foods. We get pissed off about the animal meat eating industry. We get pissed off about that stuff. But we don't understand, like, we don't really go to the depths. That's just the commercial version of what's going on. We never go into the how and why of what's going on. Because we're so comfortable with, like, the TV show version of learning experience that we're, we're used to. Like we we only we think truth is only based upon uh, knowing the, the the cover the covers of books the the titles of books but we don't know the wisdom of these books like non physical books this information that that um that exists that doesn't have like words to go it doesn't have like a language it it just exists in in, in like a, a a, a natural response that you have to this experience like it, when you really think about what ha- what language does to an experience you're talking about like lines versus colors and not and 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 circles and stuff like you're you're missing language is basically like uh in, in reference to everything that can be uh, experienced outside of you know especially the english language you know what i'm saying they have the english language and the difference between English and, and, and being able to speak Italian or even Spanish, the, the, the words in different language and more complex or ancient languages are so much more expressive. So that's expressing more consciousness, more time, more ability, more information, more, more, more ability to create a, a, a rebellion, more ability, more time, more consciousness to revolt. Because like I said, this always goes back to power, control and authority. So people talk about the the um what is that uh, reaction solution the uh, 
problem, reaction, solution, but we don't really go into power, control, and authority. See, problem, reaction, and solution is like watching the movie of what's going on. That's still chapter one. The introduction is, hey, there's some fucked up shit going on. The introduction is, what? okay, what is that stuff that's going on? And then chapter one is like like what I was saying before, and then chapter two is like the intention behind that. So, you know, how... So what's going on, introduction, chapter two, how it's going on, and then chapter, or chapter one, how it's going on, and chapter two, um, why. So that's the intention. That's what I was talking about. That's how, like, all this stuff loops back in there. So the, 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 the agenda or the agenda pushers, they want to keep you in the what, in the, in the, in the, in the, in like the, the TV show, what they could commercialize, what they could turn into a movie. They want you to focus on what could be easily um, like sung about, like in a song or things. It's not easy like in, in reference to like playing with your emotions. So they want you to cry. They want you to feel sad. They want you to love. They want you to be lustful. They want you to desire. They want you to be um, lacking critical thought. Uh, respond like fearful uh, everything reactionary everything that is based upon your primal instincts so they're keeping uh, humans in a outdated software animalistic product that's what it was that's what it is like an animal software they're running animalistic uh, software consciousness on human uh, human uh, hardware har- human CPUs on human experiences and we've been downgraded to in a monkey-minded animalistic consciousness because we believe our beliefs, our consciousness has been convinced, conditioned to believe this into our reality. So you're only going to believe to the extent of uh, what you like consciously activated. So if you've consciously activated like a drive-through McDonald's version of reality, that's what the hell you're going to get. If you've done that to enough people on a micro scale, it's going to reflect that on a macro scale. So this is how the the system is playing the numbers right now. It's been playing these numbers for a long time, and it's going to consistently play those numbers uh, as long as we allow those simple ass games to be played. Trump is a simple ass game being played. So if that's working, if they can buy four or eight more years of idiocracy why not i mean it's a cheap price i mean he's he's cheap he's he's a plastic individual and if he works and if it works and and people are it's kind of like flat earth like they're not really questioning the system when they see trump up there they're questioning the individual so they're still believing the program so if you have the consciousness of the individual still just believing the program and not questioning the system itself then why not keep selling that product? So that's what they're doing with Trump and that's what they're doing with politics and the whole Western colonial establishment industry in the first place. If you're still buying into... See, and this is the thing. They don't blatantly say this equates to white supremacy or this you know, stems from white supremacy. Um they usually distract or deflect from that or demonize you in saying that, you know, for even mentioning mentioning that, excuse me, something is wrong with you, like, you're, uh, you're divisive, you're old world thinking, so this is the, this is that whole, um, you can see how that's a psychological, like, reaction, and, um, like, a psychiatrist or psychologist would have a field day with, a lot of this stuff, and that's what I'm interested in, too, a lot of the psychologists uh, going into how, like, whites are, like, so psychologists go into the intentions of things, they, 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 in order to track down where a lot of this stuff originates from, and this, this, this goes back into understanding uh, what I was talking about, the whole thing in, in reference to attention to begin with, once you're talking about intentions, you're talking about orig- origins. Where does this stuff stem from? So you're talking about like psychologists who trace things back. 
to like your childhood. So they're going through the ancestry. They're going through the history. So that happens on a micro scale. We have to do the same fucking shit on a macro scale. So we still have to psychologically heal everything. So that's one layer of healing that needs to be done. And you have these so-called truthers talking about, oh, you're divisive for even bringing that stuff. No, this is an entire psychological program that needs to be addressed on a major scale. And you're going to fucking, de- that's, a, that's a total, psych- that's a total, um, what you call it, um, uh, what is that? That's a total, uh, I don't know, psychologists would know what the hell that is when people respond that quickly like that. And, and it, it's a defense mechanism is what it is, but uh, beyond that, you know, I don't even want to go there. So... <clears throat> When you trace these origins, and that's the thing, what this traces back to is like what I've been saying for a while now is that change is the hardest thing to do uh, for an individual, to change themselves. So you, when you present information to an individual that requires them to change in order to even comprehend that information, they will either demonize you or the information in order to maintain their own stability. And when that is the case... You're not going to have a a critically thinking conversation with anybody. You're going to have to deal with whatever you get. And whatever you get is going to be based upon the emotional state, the emotional body, the defense mechanisms, and the reflective and deflective uh, defense mechanisms that these individuals are going to throw your way just because they don't have anything else to pull from. They don't have anything in their tool belt. They don't have any uh, in, any information. They feel uncomfortable. They feel vulnerable. And the biggest thing that they have trying to avoid in their entire lives, which is change, is being presented to them. Not only in front of them, like the individual themselves, but in front of somebody else. Evac! That's what people are going to do. They're going to smash that evacuation button, that exit, and they're going to look for the first emergency exit out. They're going to run the hell out of there. And that's what uh, that's what happens when you talk from a psychological perspective of how and why things are going on as opposed to what and who's talking about what's going on. Fuck Logan Paul. Fuck it. You know, you can see how fake that dude is on a regular ass person level. That dude is he went there for himself. Nothing more like he does everything else There's nothing more of beyond about the discussion other than that. So the same way. And you know what? This is the per- this is a really good opportunity and a g- really good uh, correlation here. Flat Earth and the relationship that Flat Earth Earth real and the human story has to the conference is directly related to um, <laughs> to, to Logan Paul the same way Logan Paul is related to any of those other storylines. It's the same way. It's empty. It's nothing. The conference is empty. It's nothing. It's a it's a Logan Paul of information. That's what it is. It's it, it it'll show up. It'll talk about the information. It'll say it's a flat earther. It'll say like we're part of a team and we need to do this and we're a part of truth. But what the fuck is a Logan Paul? That's what that's exactly what the flat earth convention is. It's a Logan Paul. So, on that note, what's the intention of a Logan Paul? What's the intention of a Flat Earth Conference? What's the intention of genetically modified food? So on and so forth. So let me just knock these out while I'm... Right, see if I miss anything. So, we have... What the fuck is that sound? Oh. So, it's just... um. So I talked about like the intention of like white supremacy. What's the intention of the university system? So before I get into the intention of the university system, let me start on a timeline because people can trace time, uh, trace information when they have a timeline there. So let's go with a timeline. Timeline. Early 1800s or whatever. Um, I think the Homestead Act was like 1814 or some shit like that. Um, but before that was the head right head right system. So you had the government working in cahoots with not indigenous people to own land. So they used civilians, 
to own land. They so basically what they did was they turned European civilians into soldiers when they told European soldiers to come over here and own land. Uh, they told European civilians to come over here and own land. They became European soldiers. They were uh, the said they called settlers and pilgrims and all that shit. No, they were soldiers in a. Uh, what they call a civil war. That's what they called a civil war. Like George Carlin was going off on what the fuck a civil war is. Well, when the the U.S. government or, yeah, the U.S. government said, hey, Europeans, white people, just like us, we're really fucking racist over here. And you can have all this free land because these primitive and savage beasts over here, they don't know what the fuck is going on. This shit is fucking beautiful over here. Y'all need to come over here and get some of this land. You know what? We'll give you settlers and pilgrims because you're not you're not soldiers uh, in in this peaceful civil war who are just taking indigenous people's lands. Of course, you're not that. Um, you're just you know regular people who are just you know struggling. Like this is a new world where you can have a new start. Think about all these posters and billboards and all this shit that was there. Um, so the Head Start program, or the Head Right System, excuse me, Head Right System, uh, was in reference to government giving land, public land and government land, to so-called settlers, from white settlers, mind you. This was, you, you, the government was outwardly racist. They were just dealing with slavery, lynching people. They fed like babies, slave babies to alligators. This, the government had, had racism written into the legislature, into the actual books, okay? It's still in your fucking constitution. Like, it's, it's all over the place. So, if that's the case, when it was telling people to come over here, to the Americas, from there, from, to the United States specifically, from Europe, they was telling, they was giving them land, and and there, there was giving them, in the head head right system. I think they was even giving land to their slaves, so like they they can get land for them, their kids. They can get like something. I can't how many acres they was getting from the head right system. They got that from. Uh, yeah, for for slaves and everything. Yeah, for all their ownership, it was ridiculous. So that put and, and like I said, who do you think they was giving that to? They wasn't giving it to to brown skin folks. It was only so called white people. So this is why I said this shit still exists today. It still affects us all today. And people can't just ignore this shit. And people say, oh yeah, we just made it. You know, you didn't fucking make it. The entire government was pushing you to the top because you were a fucking soldier for colonialism. So, the head right system got the so-called settlers over here to fill up this space and take the land civilly. And then, after that, they did the Homestead Act. And then the Homestead Act did the same thing. The Homestead Act gave away Indian, or so-called Indian land. And was giving away the same thing. It was giving away government land only to so-called white people. So this is another with the government, the establishment, the so-called system that you're against. Is this keep going. The so-called system that you're against is actively acting in in racism. Like race it's active actively uh engaging in racist uh, activities. So the Homestead Act did that. They gave a, gave uh, another people a, a head start, a, a head right, a, a one up. And then, uh, so now you got two one-ups throughout generations of generations. This is every generation they're they're upstarting other people and creating uh, uh, laws to beat down other people. So this is all part of the so-called truth of this, you know, this nation. And then people are talking about, well, we should only talk about certain truth because now we know about flat earth. Well, flat earth is intertwined within this because your education system that was built by colonialism is telling the infancy heliocentrism as a mechanism to control people through power and authority comes after the power and authority establishment gets established. 
So heliocentrism exists inside the university system to control people. But how did the university system get established and how does it affect us? So once you get into that space, you get into power, control and authority. Problem, problem, reaction and solution comes after power, control and authority. So this is one of the main mechanisms that the so-called um, white truthers out there utilize to maintain the controlled opposition and a minimum frame of thought to maintain the establishment overall. Alex Jones is a perfect example. He has you focusing on 1776. He, 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 people, A whole slew of people following him thinking he's talking about truth and all this other stuff. But he's setting people up to walk into another trap. He's maintaining the establishment he claims to be against. So you have all these other people who are doing the same thing on a micro scale individually and on the macro scale they're, they're doing it in different ways, the same way. People have different motives. Some people have religious motives. Some people are coming from it from like a environmental motive there or environmental perspective. Some people come from a political perspective. Some people come from educational, uh, um, cultural perspective. Uh, you know, all these are different perspectives, but they're still, uh, the, like I said, they're still based upon the who and the what consciousness. They're never going into why. So, yeah, things might change on the who and the what consciousness. You'll get what you ask for on there. They'll give you that. But anybody who's asking and talk or even speaking, addressing or acknowledging the why and how things are going on, they will be ignored or demonized. And this is what I'm saying is the divide between so-called truthers and people who are just, you know, regurgitating truthful information, but they ain't got no substance or intention behind it. That's what's happening right now. That's that infotainment shit out there. That's that truthertainment bullshit out there. It's just people to see the information is truth. But the people who are, you know, saying the information, now I'm not saying I'm like whatever in, in, in comparison. I'm not comparison. All I'm saying is this is an observation of people who, just like you would say if you interacted with 10 people out there. 10 people walked up to you. Two might be cool. One of them is going to be real cool. Like y'all can, t y'all already talking without even word, you know, and the rest is going to be like regular ass, like whatever. And then you're going to have one person that's fucking full of shit and they're just totally, or maybe two or three that are just so full of shit. They don't even recognize how full of shit they are. That's what this system is. That's what these people are who are trying to protect this shit. They are, the, they're trying to protect that full of shit ass consciousness. And, and saying that this, still believing that this is the evolutionary peak of, uh, you know, like what humanity is all about. Nah, y'all still ain't acknowledged Machu Picchu, the laser cut stones, still don't know shit about the, the pyramids. And I'm not saying that's the peak or anything like that. I'm just saying that's an example of something else that exists, uh, that this mainstream so-called education, intellectual, most evolved system hasn't even fucking acknowledged so that's a power right there you can address that from the flat earth include the flat earth perspective in that and simultaneously empower yourself because you are finding out real information instead of just guessing like the new age community sells out there just oh we're from the pleiadian galaxy we're from you you must be from the andromeda galaxy or some shit like that like you're a less evolved soul or something like like so like this is this is that that kind of mentality is no different than having like a a, a Christian belief in a savior. It's the same thing. You you want a uh, you want a Christian savior or you want a a savior from the Pleiadian galaxy or you or, or star system. Do you want do you want a do you want a, a a religious savior or do you want a an Andromedan information alien person? What the fuck ever you know. So anyway, so the New World Order, what's the intent behind that? What's the intent be behind saying it's a New World Order when it's already been an old-ass world order? Uh, what's the intent between be, behind individuals like that saying they want to be the, uh, the, 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 the strong hands of order around the world? What does that mean? What are the intentions there? Uh, what are the intentions of, uh, like, 
So the same way is so the same way that what are the intentions of like creating cartoons that make uh, so called black people look ignorant and dumb and lazy and all that other stuff? Like what are the intentions there? How does that exist exist psychologically? It's it, it was existing for years, decades, centuries of propaganda making you think brown people and black people are like this and white people are like this like i said what are the intentions of a blonde hair blue eyed jesus in black people's homes all around the world what are these intentions not the oh yeah they exist and we're better than them because they're in a mind control program and you're not anymore whatever this fucking bullshit that egotistical bullshit no figure that shit out help your brother and sister out what are the intentions behind that you're, you're only going to be able to help them out, help them figure out the psychological origins of these intentions once you figure out the psychological origins of their intentions. You're, and, and, and even then, it's still going to be up to them to figure to do it or not. You can, But you have to at least do the work to like people say, oh, you can lead a horse to water. But y'all ain't y'all ain't led yourself to fucking water yet. Talking about leading somebody else to water. What fucking water hole are you talking about? You talking about some old murky ass puddle that's filled with like all kinds of bacteria and shit in there? Nah. What the fuck is that? No, we talking about um we talking about like the the real primary original water source. Not no fucking murky ass lake or or no no rickety ass creek seasonal creek that might have some um you know some shit in there that's gonna be making you shit all over the place no the primary water source trace it back to the origins and figure out what the fuck is going on with the intentions of these alchemists hollywood is an alchemy white supremacy is an alchemy if you call yourself truthers, you must be talking about alchemy. So what are some of the biggest alchemical spells out here? It ain't only heliocentrism. So you got years and years and years of propaganda making people think a certain way about a certain other people. And then making other people think the, the opposite way of, the, of another kind of person. You know what I'm talking about. I don't even have to say it. Disney does this. The Oscars does this. So on a government scale, they were doing this with the home, uh, the head right system with the settlers in the beginning. That's all I was saying. And then later on, 50 years, something like that later, then they had the Homestead Act. Then they started redlining. And redlining is basically when they started to create the suburbs. White people going to live over here. Black and brown people going to live over here. This is going to be the ghetto. We're going to put the guns and drugs and all kinds of shit in there. And in the suburbs, we're going to give people like really good uh, financial deals. to where, And we're not going to let black people or brown people over here. We're not going to give them any real estate deals. We're not even going to allow them to live over here. This is a white-only neighborhood, the suburbs, okay? This is the original, the, the what the suburbs are. They were created by redlining, and redlining was a literal red line that was created on a map that differentiated. Usually they used the trains and the freeways to differentiate between the good areas and the bad areas to keep them on the other side of the train tracks, the whole eight mile stuff and that whole like freeway stuff in like Oakland and other, other city, main big cities. So that's how they differentiated. You on the other side of the tracks, you live over there, that come from redlining. Because they said, the government said, the fucked up black people who are poor and, and drug dealers. It's the same way Trump said about Mexicans are rapists and murderers and um, drug dealers and all that shit. The same shit. You used to prize it, said it on the actual TV. No, that shit been there. In the fucking books. So, redlining created that atmosphere that still exists today. People who are making it in the so-called system this day, what are they doing? They move out to the damn suburbs. It's the same thing. So we're not really addressing, ever addressing the system. We're not really addressing the how and the why. We're too busy consuming ourselves with just survival. And like I said earlier, is they, they keep people reproducing in this system. This is why everybody is so over-sexualized, over-stimulated. I'm going to do a, a video on this uh, shameless uh, this show on Netflix. If you want to get up on um, what I'm talking about now, watch that sh shameless. 
this is the another de-evolution program, another version of them telling that you're their monk, that you're monkeys. But it's also another one. I showed some other uh, friends and family. They were saying like, "Oh yeah, well this is just another way to make it look like we're all the same. Like there's nothing, you know, you know, white people are struggling too. And I'm not saying white people are not struggling. What I'm saying is that there are programs that are designed to psychologically make you think and feel a certain way about an agenda, and it ain't." You think a Netflix is disconnected from the government agenda and the Facebook agenda and the Google agenda and the Google, all those intentions? You think it's separated from that? No, it's one storyline. So <clears throat> when you go into the depths of that, w- w- look at what Shameless is in, in when you take into the count, in, into account and critically think about all the other subjects that I mentioned now. To look at Shameless with through those through those goggles and see what that's doing and and for people who've already seen that don't know what I'm talking about I mean they they are they have already we when I saw that it tripped me the fuck out like I, I was sharing memes and videos about how they are normalizing pedophilia they normalized it already in that show they have a full on pedophilic relationship going a, a, a few of them and not only relationships um, but, uh, like moments where the like, the, it, it's just all about sexualizing uh, kids. Basically, it's nothing but kids in that house. So it's all about sex. It's all about, um, you know, like evening the playing field in reference to poverty and that whole thing. And when I say that, I say that to make more note, not to let, let say like people or whatever, it, to make more obvious, like the, 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 the tools that are used to keep us from understanding the truth, to keep us from understanding uh, a lot of these programs like redlining and homestead and the head right system, how, how those programs existed in the government. Like these, these, these things that soften the way you interpret reality are all designed to make you to uh, desensitize you and to to normalize some of the most ridiculous and destructive bullshit that's out there um, in order to maintain that ignorant and codependent space of the empire, you know, and then just remaining in power. You'll never. The, the, the further you're you the further you are away from uh knowing and understanding and inhabiting who and what you are the easier it is to enslave you and that's the name of the game and, and why I'm focusing on intention right now is because um you will not even have any kind of motivation to understand understand overstand who and what you are, uh, and to understand, understand, overstand in t- your intention in life, and the intention of this system, you won't be able to go that far if you don't understand what intention is, or, or like the intention of the world. Like it's kind of like uh, people who don't research information because they don't believe that it's true, <laughs> or or that it's real. Like, the government wouldn't do that to us. I'm just not going to research it. So that's a whole level of consciousness. That's a whole level of life, or lack thereof, that exists that, you know, people are not uh, really uh, acknowledging. And it, it really kind of, another way to uh, explain that is, is kind of like uh, like a zombie or a... <clears throat> To have zero intention in your thought, in your reality, you're so consumed with fear and codependency. Uh, you have no intention in your ancestral. You have no an- ancestral intentions. You have no uh, spiritual intentions, no psychological intentions, no you know uh, any kind of intentions in relation to your future generations. Um, there's nothing there. You're dead. You're a walking dead. There's nothing. You're you're basically living in response to. So your heartbeat and your breath is in response to. There's no focus there. There's no drive there. You're basically just floating out in space like Neil deGrasse Tyson tells you. You're just a cosmic piece of dust floating in the infinite space of nothingness that was shat out of the Big Bang. And gravity is your God. That big G 
is it stands for gravity because it brings everything together gravity is the unifying agent of this universe and we should come together because we're all one and human and all that other bullshit they're getting ready to sell you through the new age community that's what they're going to come from they're going to come from that whole if it's not from that it's from the simulation theory perspective so to take it a step even further before i close this out what's the intention with genocide what's the intention with genocide when they went to Australia and, and just and gen, and and uh, slaughtered the Tasmanian people, they're not there anymore. Like what 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 are the what are the what are the intentions of genociding the Native Americans, the indigenous people? What are the intentions of paper genocide? Telling everybody the the just in the Bay Area there was something like a hundred and something languages just in the Bay Area. This in this goes from like Monterey. For people who know California, this is from Monterey to Sacramento. That's probably five hours down, five, uh, two hours up. So seven or uh, six and a half hours of driving from Monterey to Sacramento. So it's about four or five to Monterey from here and then all the way up to Sacramento. So in that distance, you have hundred, uh, uh, over a hundred languages, different peoples, uh, different kinds of people. And the same way you have a whole mixture of people coming from all over the world to the Bay Area today, the same thing was happening back then. It was a mixture of a whole bunch of different kinds. That's why there's so many different languages. But there was a central theme of uh, Native Indigenous people here that were living, not perfectly and all that other stuff. Like people say, oh, yeah, well, the, what do you say? The Indigenous people were living perfectly. Blah, blah, blah. No, it ain't in comparison to that. This new so-called civilization ain't even made it to the space of even being compared to what the indigenous people had already done. It ain't even there yet. It, it, it will never get there. It will never get there. So when people are like, what do you, when they stand on their high horse on their fucking soapbox talking about, what do you think, don't you use a computer? Aren't you talking on technology right now? When they do that, they're comparing today's civilization to the civilization. Your comparisons are fucked up. It's the same way like people in that world, they think riches come from money. Well, in the world of the indigenous people, their riches came from their relationship to nature and spirit and each other, their family, their culture. That's true riches. This fucking bullshit ass civilization doesn't even know what the fuck humanity is. So there never will be a comparison from this world to that world. This world is not even a fully developed fucking world yet. This world is an, is a, a stunted growth adolescent monkey-minded, truly savage and primitive protoplasmic uh, blob of something with the ability to make a fucking smartphone. That's it. That's all it is. There's nothing of any kind of divi like divine sort of acknowledgement or expression. You And one can argue everything is divine, that whole thing. But I'm talking about consciously engaging in it. Divinity has been, true divinity has been criminalized. It's been like fucking uh, whatever. It, it, you know what I mean. It, it, it's been... They just talk about it. They use it. Like they use sex to sell fucking cheeseburgers. It's the same thing. They use God to sell um, flat screen TVs and Christmas and Black Friday. And just the same way they use Native Americans to sell fucking um, Thanksgiving and and technology and shit. on. It's all a big ass sham. So that's why I say, what's the intention with having Thanksgiving? What's the intention of a Black History Month? What's the intentions of uh, Christmas? What's the intentions of Easter? What's the intentions of... The, and, and when I say that stuff, I, I, I'm keeping in mind when you're talking about... You're talking about people. Supposedly, all this mixture of people from all over the world going to these supermarkets. Running smack dab into a Thanksgiving. Native Americans having to go to Safeway, walking under a big-ass tower of Frito-Lay fucking Thanksgiving... Thanksgiving chips, sodas, dips, and turkeys and shit, and happy ass pictures of settlers and shit. Sit in their fucking shoes for a moment. Sit in their shoes when they're going into the store. Get out of your pilgrim buckle fucking shoes for a moment, all happy and dancing through fucking uh, uh, Whole Foods and Safeway. 
take all that shit off for all that happiness that you enjoying for a moment and sit in our shoes for a second and realize what the fuck the intentions are behind that shit. Same thing with your Super Bowls and your and, and, and your uh, 4th of July, which is one of the main ones. The 4th of July celebration is fucking... It's good. The, when, the bottle, when the Rockets ran play, when they're blowing shit up all over the place, blowing shit up, literally... You and they talking about the dogs and shit. Like, what the dogs is blowing shit up for the dogs? No, fuck the dogs. What's going on with the dead? Not like fuck the no, like. Don't worry about the dogs being scared of rockets. No, the bigger issue is you're exploding shit that represents the explosions of actual bodies, human people. Why the fuck is the human body exploding, the indigenous human body exploding from those fireworks that you're blowing up out there for 4th of July? Why the fuck is that not the discussion, but talking about the fucking dogs being scared in their, in their backyard, suburban backyards because of fucking fireworks? That's, that's what you're scared about? That shit? That's how backwards this fucking world is. That's what's on TV. <laughs> That's what all this bullshit is. So it, it, on, on that note, so I don't forget it, what are the intentions with all that, these dogs and cats and shit? What are the intentions with uh, having these cats and dogs all throughout the house and being a part of the family before you can even have more more... People have more relationship with the fucking dogs and the cats than they do with their own mother and father and their own brothers and sisters. What the fuck is going on with this shit? So you have <clears throat> all these half-assed relationships and broken-ass definitions and all this other bullshit that ain't even being discussed. So you have uh, the so back to the dogs before I finish. The dogs it goes back to another power, control, and authority. So the dogs represent. And I've done all videos on this shit before, but I'll, so I'll, I'll just say real briefly. The dog. I'll use a dog as an example because the cat has a little more independence and it's more just kind of like a companion thing. But with the dog, when people got to go walk their dog, they got to walk their dog. They got to train their dog. What they got to do is they got to break their dog. Uh, they, they, they have to break the animal to submit. So it's a power and control authority. So subconsciously, when you have these pets, you're thinking, oh, I have a companion, I have a friend. It's all. But subconsciously, what's happening is that you are tra subconsciously training yourself through, the, the, through society's uh, slick-ass versions of controlling you. You're controlling yourself to be okay with uh, the authority and other people got like 20 fucking dogs and all this other shit. It's like a pack animal was well, an animalistic sort of thing in that whole storyline, evolution triggering storyline. But mostly it's a it's a power and control and authority mechanism because the government has to break you. The the same relationship that you have with your dog is the same relationship that the government has with you. They have to break you. You're constantly afraid. You have a totally and utterly codependent relationship with them. This is on a general macro scale. You are scared of them. They are the authority in every aspect of your reality. Down the street, where you go, they lock the gates. They let you in. They provide your food. Every single relationship that you have with your dog is a relationship that the government has with you. And when you have that relationship with the government or with the dog and the government, you and you take that frustration. People do this shit with their kids, too. People treat their kids like they're pets. People are raising kids like fucking pets. This is why you have these kids running around all over the place. And they don't have a fucking human cell in their in their brain. They're not they're all animalistic. This is all it is. You have people with these cell phones smart so-called smartphones this is why they gotta call it smart because it's to make you dumb obviously but they got these 10 year olds and 12 year olds on smartphones that uh looking at like porn and all this other stuff so like wh what are the intentions with porn what are the intentions with destroying the feminine what are the intentions with destroying like the relationship with uh, the the mother and the father the the man and the woman the, the children and the parents. What are the what are the intentions with doing all this stuff? What are the intentions with uh, have uh, addiction? Uh, the 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 intentions with sugar addiction, uh, psychological addictions, porn addictions, um, 
the the food addictions the uh, social media addictions, the technology addictions, the GPS addictions, not even knowing where you're going. So, like, they give you GPS not to give you something. The government doesn't give a fuck about you. It doesn't care about you. They didn't put satellites in space to give a fuck about you. They put that information in your brain to make you codependent. So if you have a GPS in and around your body all the time, you're not you're not going to know you're going to turn off part of your brain so you're not going to be aware of the world as much as you would be if you didn't have that thing around telling you everything and what to do the government has the same effect on you so you have the gps you have all these other things that are affecting you in ways that are de-evolving you we are being de-evolved into nothingness and it's because we we've, we've been shifted out of fear see fear is just one thing that's part of like the uh, problem reaction solution perspective fear is one thing but inaction comes after fear so fear is what can is one of the main mechanisms that makes people not act and, can, and like you can control people through fear but one of the main actions that hap happens from the reaction of fear is inaction so inaction in reference to having a lack of intention so you you don't have any intention because you're too afraid to have any intention you're too afraid to even understand that there's an intention that exists that can go against the superpower that is existing right now so you, this is how fear affects us all the way through the layers of consciousness and and we call ourselves in order to not feel like insignificant or in, in order to feel relevant in many different ways we we kind of like superpower ourselves talking and call ourselves like truthers and flat earthers and we we use the labels to feel a certain way before we even do anything about it that is the atmosphere of the one-sided patriarchal sort of linear interpretation of reality very egoic and uh it's just totally broken um, but that's what's being promoted by the system so that's what's happening to people individually so that's what happened to the fucking flat earth move so-called movement when they just channeled all this energy into conferences and hoping that the mainstream media acknowledges them they don't have any actual intentions with the flat earth there's nothing there it's not like you have to have an intention like we're gonna gather up the flat earth and put it in a box and go put our intentions and go do this thing somewhere no it's not like that that's some old basic interpretation no, the intentions come from like the depths of what I was talking, like I was saying, like what are the depths of uh, understanding what the system's intentions were in order to truly do anything outside of the consciousness of what they what did, whatever it did to you, you have to understand whatever was done to you. So <clears throat> in, in, in from the perspective of intentions, so if the world of heliocentrism has a, 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 a and understand a language of intention that surrounds that world if you don't go into the language of intention of that world you're not going to do anything you're not going to you're not going to go to the foundations you're not going to go to the origins you're not going to go to the pillars of what it is that you're talking about so you're not really talking about truth you're talking about information inside a limited frame of truth you, your, your true truth comes when you expand your intention outside of the subject that you're talking about in, in reference to expanding outside of the, the, the alchemy that it, it was designed to use against you. So when you're so when you're talking about comparison, when you're talking about flat earth in comparison to, to globe earth, like you're the king shit because you just realize some basic obvious ass shit that our ancestors already fucking knew that you're some king shit because you 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 know the earth is not a globe and other people don't like that's the basis of the so-called flat earth community and the flat definitely the flat earth conference but that is a, that is an egotistical patriarch linear reaction reactionary um mechanism to it's powerless it is powerless because it's powerless because like i just said it's inherently powerless because the intentions are not there the intention the power is not there the energy is not there the focus is not there the acknowledgement of the depths of the roots of this program are not there they're not they're not uh expressed they're not uh what's the word <sighs> <clears throat> 
the intentions are not understood enough to actually make any real progress with something as even as powerful as uh, the flat earth and, and powerful not in like we have power no powerful in, is in reference to energy movement actually pushing pushing weight like doing something with it the conference ain't pushing no weight that's some old regular ass uh bullshit ass uh mayonnaise sandwich fucking and that's what a mayonnaise sandwich would do with flat earth the flat earth conference is what a, a mayonnaise sandwich person would do with a fucking flat earth that's exactly what happened is that revolutionary no they're still powerless to the authority of the system they're still sucking the dick of the fucking system saying hey acknowledge us that's why i have a problem with that shit and the same thing goes with um what's it called that all the other YouTube channels out there, they're getting all like, they're turning themselves into the victim now because you're like, why don't you step your game up or at least talk about stepping your game up in any kind of way. No, they're just, oh, yeah, we're saying so much truth and, 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 and you're just divisive. No, you're just fucking a fucking crybaby. <laughs> just, okay, so the intentions, what did I say, gentrification. So, yeah. <clears throat> Homestead or the head right system that goes to, from the settlers, then you go from that to the people who are already here. That's the Homestead Act. Then you go from that to redlining uh, in like the 60s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. Uh, then you go into gentrification now. And all of this is gentrification, by the way. But today, they just label it as gentrification. Um, <clears throat> Because that's what it is, actually. But uh, back then, they, they called it something else. Redlining, homestead. It's just government-approved gentrification. Now, everything is government-approved. So it's just regular-ass gentrification. <laughs> and then they call it gentrification now because uh, they also want you to just be angry. So instead of just being angry about gentrification, you got the intention behind that. Uh, so yeah, a few years ago I was angry because I realized gentrification was happening. But what you can only do something with that when you understand the intention behind that, and when you understand the intention, you can only question the intention behind that when your intentions, with in reference to the the the, the situation or the subject that you're talking about, exist in the first place. So, the intentions of that realizing it and cross-referencing it with your intentions is what's going to allow you to be able to um, expand outside of the emotional responses and re reactions that happen when uh, when your intentions aren't deeper than the subject that you're talking about. So, when, you, when your intentions are in dealing in, from a revolutionary perspective, you're going to look at Flat Earth from a, a revolutionary perspective. The Flat Earth Conference is not a revolutionary perspective. And I'm not saying that it needs to be a revolutionary perspective. I've already gone through that in way previous videos. I'm just saying it from my observation purpose. Don't expect shit from any of that. None of that will, it will, other than people, you know, talking about it. That's as far as it's going to go. And like I said, it will never get into the realm of power, control, and authority. Because it's still asking, it's still submitting, it's walking up to the system with its tail tucked underneath saying, could you please look at us and say that we are relevant in this world? Oh, we are the flat earth. <laughs> we are the flat earth community. Please, people, acknowledge us. It's like, what the fuck? Acknowledge yourself. They don't want to acknowledge themselves yet. So they need to focus everything externally. So let me finish this. Uh, intention. So gentrification. So like I said, when, when I'm talking about intention here, uh, and keep in mind, like I said, I started off white supremacy for people who are still having difficulty with understanding how race and racism fits in here in culture and ethnicity and diversity and all these other fucking labels that were designed to, you know, have a psychological effect on us. 
I'm giving you examples of how the government, the establishment, you know, uses race and has used and still uses race as a tool uh, of of control. Um, and how since this is being used and you, you your your ancestors were a part of that, maybe you might want to talk about it sometime. Possibly. Po- maybe. I- is it a truth that exists? Does redlining exist? Is that a truth? Is the Homestead Act a truth? Is headline is is the Head Start program system a truth? Uh, was gentrification a truth? Was lynching people because they looked at a white woman true a truth? Was uh, alligator bait a truth? Was like uh, slavery based upon like w- w- was telling people that they're not human? Truth was you know is putting. Uh, a blonde hair, blue eyed Jesus, and and uh, other people, and uh, people, black, dark skinned people's, you know, is around the world. Is that a truth? If it's a truth, what, it, 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 does it matter? Well, not to some people, I guess. <laughs> okay, they're like, ah, uh, whatever. That stuff doesn't exist. That doesn't matter. We, don't, uh, my family, didn't get a a, a head start. <laughs> See, you're like, we ain't talking about that. We're talking about the very nature of this existing. <laughs> like people in order to avoid the macro program people jump into the micro they take it personal they get into their ego oh i would never i i did, we ain't talking about you ain't talking about your feelings we're talking about and a fucking psychology an entire consciousness that was created institutionalized racism ain't got shit to do with your feelings New Age Agenda, another group, uh, it ain't nothing but another Flat Earth Convention. That's what the New Age Convention is. This is, you got your Oprah, Wrinkle in Time, Deepak Chopra, uh, what's that dude's name? Uh, you know, all these uh, life coaches and shit. Now, I'm not saying, you know, life coaches are bad. I'm just saying, on a macro scale, they don't give a fuck. They ain't doing nothing about it. They focus only on the individual. And like I said, you need to do the individual work in order to even comprehend a lot of this work and even turn on your intentions. You need need to do a lot of this work before you get there. What I'm saying is that it ain't the end-all, be-all. They're turning this work that needs to be done into, um, what's that called? Like a commercial, a toy. So it's never going to have the intended effect on you that you created like when you were like when you were a part of the the the, uh, the development of this experience like your body has a relationship to this experience your psyche your spirit your your expression has a relationship to this experience that the mainstream reality ain't even a point zero zero one percent um expression of so the entire the entire interpretation of the universe, the entire interpretation of the psychology, the human experience. It ain't even a point zero zero what we're doing right here. Uh, Netflix and smartphones and all this shit. It ain't even a point zero zero one percent of what we're like intended to really be doing here. And people are defending that point zero zero one percent. That's how strong that jester alchemy is. So and point zero zero one percent in reference to like you can see that scientifically. The physical realm is only point zero like five percent of all energy or some shit like that. Like point zero five percent of the physical material realm out of all energy, all energy out there. So <clears throat> a fraction of that is what we're talking about in the mainstream reality. A fraction of point zero five percent. And people are defending this shit. And that and in that fraction of point zero five percent is where you'll and in that fraction of point zero five that point zero zero one percent is where you'll find transhumanism. What's the intention behind transhumanism? In that point zero zero one percent of that point zero five percent of all energy. The fuck? Transhumanism. Um what the fuck is that? My handwriting is shit. Technology as a whole. Technology, um, you know, it, like I said, it's a de-evolution program. T- t- technology is the um, solidified version of telling you uh, that you're a monkey. It's evolution in form. It's like, uh, they're monkeys. They would probably create some 
mechanical tool that you know deals with uh, electronics or some shit that's what a fucking monkey would do in evolution it would take take a stick and then make an electric stick it, it, it would take an electronic stick that it uses to clobber people in the fucking head and then make an electronic stick with 10 sticks on it and clobber 10 people on the fucking head that's what a that's what a fucked up uh, monkey-minded, Joe Rogan as uh, uh, monkey evolution uh, consciousness would do um, in this reality, <laughs> in reference to uh, to talking about like evolution. It's ridiculous. So the New Age agenda already went into that. It's the same thing: normalizing empty behavior, normalizing empty connections, normalizing faith-based. Um, uh, relationships like in mainstream religions uh, normalizing that with uh, with the universe and aliens instead of you know an, uh, <coughs> excuse me instead of uh, you know uh, an invisible savior uh, it's more it, it mean meaningful and it's more real to you when you see stuff floating in space. You've had dreams of aliens. You've seen ships here and there. So it's more real. That's that's the main difference between mainstream religions and new age mentalities who are in that alien agenda. They're like, they believe in an invisible savior and they just wait and go to church and so on and so forth. The new agers, they believe in more. They have more of a deeper belief there because they can actually like, the, the Area 51 has, you know, spaceships and they went to the, so they have all these other things that add up to their belief in aliens and spaceships and star systems and all that other shit. So you're really talking about the relationship with spirit. And if you're talking about the mainstream religion people or New Agers, you're talking about the relationship with spirit. And they're using tools. It doesn't matter what kind of tool it is. Uh, it's, it's something that they're using to do have a particular effect. And, and like I said, that's the intention there, to keep them distracted with a tool slash toy and not really do anything or empower themselves just take take the take the maximum potential of having a relationship with your spirit and just turn it into a fucking new age happy meal toy a crystal and just wear the crystal instead of activating the crystal inside of you just wear the crystal around your neck forever hollywood social media what are the intentions with hollywood what are the intentions with race in hollywood what are the intentions with um mind control you over sexualizing your your world um over stimulating you uh, di um, heavily focused on um male dominance and violence and destruction and all this other stuff what are the intentions with that you can make an entire youtube website only on the intentions of the videos that are on all of YouTube. All of YouTube, the majority of everything that's on YouTube is talking about certain information. But that information, you can talk about the intentions of that information. You can at least theorize. You can hypo was it, you know, create hypothesis on certain things. Uh, and, and you'll be close to... Knowing what the hell is going on, too. Social media, mainstream media. What's the intention with mainstream media? Uh, what's the intention with... Uh, so all of this, all of these intentions, everything that I mentioned. Uh, New Age. 23andMe. Like, what's the intention? I just saw a video and, 20, and Joe Rogan avoided. The guy actually brought it up. He was like, they only re review, like... A portion of your DNA, if at all, in the chromosomes on those 23andMe things. So, like, Joe Rogan, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, who cares about that? Like, it doesn't matter. But he and Joe Rogan played dumb again. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, this and that. And he tried to defend uh, fucking 23andMe and that fake-ass DNA test and all that bullshit. What are the intentions with that? It's another watering down, normalizing, just like putting a... Uh, Putting all your, all your, like, say, it's just like, it's just another version of, scientific version of saying we're all human. That's what it is. That's what 23andMe is. <clears throat> it's the new world order in science. That's what 23andMe is. So, um, yeah, they just want to say, hey, look, everybody has you know, a small percentage from Africa. We're just basically all blended up. And the same thing is going to happen when they get out. So 23andMe could just be like 
a uh, a pre-positioned um, fail uh, on purpose. They, they want it to fail on purpose so they can give you another interpretation of who and what we really are. Like they could say from the New Age perspective, they can say like, uh, the genetics of the chromosomes, the DNA doesn't even matter. Your body doesn't even matter. Well, this is all just a simulation anyway. They could go that way. Or they come, could come out with a better, so-called, a more upgraded, uh, a, an iPhone X version of 23andMe, like they always do. That's, that's usually what they do. So if that's the case, then, um, you know, people are just buying into whatever the system tells them to buy into in the first place. Well, this is the next thing to talk about, this chromosome DNA shit. But what's the, my, my, my interest, like I said before, what are the intentions there? What's the intentions with that? Obviously, like I said, to water everything down. Mainstream media, and for all this is designed to protect the empire. So Joe Rogan's podcast... All of it, all of it. <clears throat> um, the weatherman, what are the intentions with the weatherman? It's, it's another, like, even even down to the personal. You have a relationship with these people on the local news. The local news people, you, you watch them gain weight. You watch them lose weight. You watch them uh, grow and get better at what they do. You know, you, you become personalized with them. Uh, meanwhile, they're, you know, giving you globe image programming, setting, making you, that's all they exist is to sell product, marketing. The newscasters exist to sell the commercials. They only exist to make money, product. You're, you're looking at corporations. You're looking at commercials for corporations. We look at the commercials as commercials, but we don't look at the, com the, the, the actual shows as commercials. The, cur the shows are commercials. The Weatherman is a commercial. The, uh, <clears throat> it's a commercial for the commercial. It's a commercial to keep you, keep you coming back to watch the commercials. That's, that's what the, the actual local news and all these TV shows, Big Bang, all that stuff, that's what it is. Uh, it keeps you coming back to protect the empire subconsciously. You act it out consciously. That's the intention of every single thing that has existed inside the Colombian Empire. All of it is designed to protect the empire. It's not just the uh, gladiator arena to distract you. The gladiator arena is social media, is Hollywood, is TMZ, is TYT, is Alex Jones, is the truther community, is parts of the flat earth community, is... Um, conspiracy circles is politics that's it, it, it it's all of that all, it, it, anyway you know what i'm talking about so um <clears throat> that's pretty much it uh it, i want to start talking to people about this this their intentions uh that's a better way of wording and and finding out who's about what um back in the day when i was talking about flat earthers I, I didn't use that word or the, that perspective to talk about, uh, but I used that that emotion. The emotion was, what the fuck are you guys about? Like, what's going on here? Wh what's really going on here? Like, how far are you willing to talk about going, or how far are you willing to go with, um, you know, Flat Earth? And they were only willing to go to a Flat Earth conference. That's it. They want to do a cruise or some other shit, you know, whatever. Um, but that's how, and that's what I said. So, but now it's really when you talk to individuals, and like I said in the last video, if you talk to them on Facebook, like ask them, like, what are your intentions? What's up? What's up with like uh, how far? Like, it's already been three years now. Like I said, what's on what's on the schedule? What's on the agenda for twenty twenty five? Um, you can you can make those agendas right now. Stop playing in in reaction to, and start setting up you know, movements for years in advance, like actual get-togethers, not just one thing. See, that's another linear program and linear movement that I was talking about that is another, like, controlled opposition. Every fucking year, like an actual flat earth thing has to, now you got to wait another fucking year? How different is that than, than, than um, politics? When they have, um, you know, you have you waiting for two years and four years and eight years to have some real fucking change happen. It's the same thing. It's like, oh, we'll have a flat earth conference. Oh, it's done. 
we'll just have another fucking year of waiting on the next conference and and talking about stuff that's going to happen at the next conference and stuff we can talk about at the next conference that's it no 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 could be and that's it because there's no intentions there other than the conference same way that the there's no intentions in in some of these communities and like the black conscious community a lot of people are you know who are coming into that and like i said this is not to come down on anybody this is only to emphasize the the reality that people get trapped in little bubbles or loops and then they start becoming proud and eager to like they expand their ego in those bubbles and then they don't expand or change outside of that anymore they just you know stay there and then start fighting other people uh because they don't they don't um they can't see it they're not really trying to see they don't know how to see it so um I don't know. I'll just leave it there. It's going on long enough. Damn, it's damn near. I haven't done a video like this in a while. Um, <clears throat> but that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. Uh, the, the 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 intention is what really matters. Like it's obvious when you can see when I'm talking about like um, Alex Jones or uh, even YouTubers. Like when I was talking about um, at Quantum do Quantum of Conscience, but uh. Uh, saying quantum of nor normalism or regularism, quantum of regularism. That's the thing. <clears throat> That's the intention there. <clears throat> the intention is to look at all this information as as a hope from a hopeless and activeless perspective. It's just like a, well, things are happening and it's fucked up and you know it's been happening for a while and we're smart people, so let's just be smart people and stick together and. You know, hey, what are we going to do? Things are bad. See you in the next video. When we talk about truth again. Like, the fuck? <laughs> anyway. Uh. Yeah. That's when, that's when, that's when you start uh, finding out what's up with the, the, the people. And that's why I said, this is the time frame. Next year is going to be about looping back to what I was talking about three years ago. When people were coming down on me about, uh, like, you're divisive and all this other shit. I was like, nah, y'all going to have to face these subjects and these topics in, in one way or another at some time or another. It's coming up to that time now to where the individuals are going to have to start um, really... talking about like where they're where they're going what their intentions are rather than what the information is people know the information off off the hip they know it so you don't need people so basically all uh, uh, the majority of people who are talking about flat earth right now are already at the level of pulling the information up you know like at a drop of a dime or a drop of a hat so um if they can do that then they're really equal to the people that used to put them on a pedestal or that they used to put on a pedestal so now this next year is going to be about people who are making videos and like how i see it they might not do anything but how i'm going to be approaching it is like stepping up your game what's your intention we with the information is out there now you know what are you going to do what are you talking about doing with this stuff um what, what, what start you, you use the whole fucking year to explain like what the intentions of flat earth are you can you everybody who's made flat earth videos right now can can spend the whole next year debating or talking about or sharing whatever however people make videos about the intention of certain truths the intention of like on both sides like oh i gotta go get something to eat on both sides of reality, uh, on to start, because there's more than obviously two sides of the reality, but there's at least a uh, this side and a that side when you're talking about intentions. So you can, that could be a, another subject too. It's just, uh, the thing is, is that we have a lot of, like I said, old baggage that we ain't cut. We ain't cut that fat from that old programming yet. That old. Way. So a lot of this truth or a lot of these movements. They they get they get turned into a, a um, they get uh, activated from a, a, a computer like a, a, a 
a version of reality that is still linear. So you have nonlinear programs, people running linear hardware trying to run nonlinear software. That's what's happening. That's a good explanation of what it, and people don't understand the nonlinear what that is yet because we're so trapped in the the linear world, the universe that is based upon numbers and bullshit like trash, gravity. So they don't they only know lines. They don't know anything other than lines. So the nonlinear spiritual etheric whatever kind of reality that that, that exists is being demonized in many cases. So I just keep going or I just hind it here. Thanks for joining. Uh thank you for the support. Um I'm just gonna keep doing videos like this. Uh, I, I, I'm, there's still so much that I want to talk to and re talk about in reference to the um, the intention. I'm just gonna keep going with that uh, for a while now until something else uh, expands off of that one. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna leave some comments, you know what I'm talking about. Let me know. I do read the comments. I might not respond all the time, but. Uh, I do read them. Some of them, I know the, the videos are being censored and uh, the comments, likes are coming off, all kinds of shit. I see that stuff too, so I'm not really tripping on it. We're just going to keep keep doing what's going on. So <clears throat> that's what's going on. Um, I'll leave it there. Uh, thank you for watching and hanging out. And until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony.